I think teaching, 10 years from now, we should have artificial intelligence across the whole educational spectrum, but it will not take away one teaching job. And if you ask teachers, after using that bot for several years, who's your closest colleague at work? They probably say, it's my bot. Quite often, you get kids who fall out for the dumbest reasons. They take the wrong major. Why? My significant other's taking that major. Um, yeah. My mother wanted me to. There's a lot of money at the end of the rainbow. So the point is, somebody who may be in accounting and is failing would be a wonderful therapist, but they just don't know that. The issue is, if their homework is graded by a bot, the bot will know that. So if Fred and I are in a, in a calculus class and he does his homework and it takes him 20 minutes and it's all right, and I grind and grind, it takes 90 minutes and it's wrong and I keep making mistakes. The point is the teacher no longer has to do the grading of that homework. So that is an hour to two that he or she gets back every day. But when they look at their PC, they're gonna get a report that says, you don't need to worry about Fred, but Malcolm keeps stumbling, and here is specifically where he's stumbling. And based upon that, and based upon how we've looked at him in prior years, we know how his brain operates, and we know why he's having this issue. And so this is where you need to intervene, or it may say, the bot may say, this is totally new, this is weird, he's never done this, and then all of a sudden he's doing this. Maybe there's something emotional going on. So the point is, this is where a teacher could be more human, more empathetic, because the bot is going to do the rote work and start to uh, outline what's going on. So we think that if you just multiply that by 10,000 and 100,000 and a million, it could have just a remarkable impact on making people much more effective in their jobs. And look, just a final point, you already do it.